we're actually concentrating on post spawners. This is a great time for Ned rigging. And today I'm gonna to be focusing on some of the five inch uh, Yum Dinger custom colors. There he is. So I'm fishing the first break off of the spawning flat where these fish are coming out and the ones that have already spawned, they're staging out here and resting to get ready to move to their summer pattern. They're by nowhere near summer pattern right now. This is pure post spawn. Oh, that's not too bad. And this is exactly, exactly what I expected to find. Um, it's the first transitional break off of the spawning flat, and that's the first spot they're gonna stop at when they're done spawning. They'll spawn back up in there, and then they'll use the contours and follow the contours out to the main lake for summer pattern. There we go, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a big female. After the spawn, they rest here. Now look, and here's the real key to this whole rig that I'm doing, is I'm using 10 pound braid as my main line, and I'm using an eight pound fluoro leader. So I'm trying to play these fish out, you know, kind of gingerly. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. <laughs> we're looking for big post spawn females. Look at that. Got it right in the corner of her mouth. Look at that. I ca I'm casting it out to the top of the break, which is roughly around three to four feet. Breaks down to eight to nine. I'm waiting for the jig head to hit the bottom and then I'm gonna start my, my retrieve. And basically, all I'm gonna do is, I'm dragging it and shaking it, and when I come in contact with anything, I'll give the rod a little bit of snap. Mostly it's grass on this lake, but I'll shake it, and then when I hit the grass, I'll just, I snap it through the grass like that. A lot of the bites are occurring as I snap it through the grass and the bait starts to fall again. There he is, that's a big female. Well, I don't know how big she is. Oh yeah, that's a good one. So just, you gotta just remember, basically we're looking for places that they're gonna stage right after the spawn. They're not on summer pattern by any stretch. They're just staging in that four to eight foot stuff. And all I'm doing is I'm fishing the sharpest transitions in four to eight feet of water right outside the spawning flats, throwing a five inch dinger on the Ned rig, which helps you appeal to a better class of fish. And basically, really, you're gonna see that we're actually catching these post spawn females. Man, are they fighting. They are fighting. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Five inch custom dinger color on a net head. It's really hard to beat it. Look at, she's all spawned out. Look how skinny that fish is. That's a fantastic. That is fantastic. 